It has come to our attention that some Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra users are experiencing issues with their phone screens. Specifically, they're noticing a thin green line running vertically, and in some instances, a thin white line horizontally. Concerns have been voiced on various platforms, such as the Samsung Community Forum and Reddit. One user reported encountering this problem while watching YouTube and even during the boot screen. Despite reaching out to Samsung Care Plus, the resolution offered was unsatisfactory. While Samsung acknowledged the issue stemmed from manufacturing, they refused to provide a replacement device. Instead, they advised returning the phone and purchasing a new one, forfeiting any pre-order discounts received. A similar scenario unfolded for another user who sought assistance from Samsung regarding the issue. However, Samsung redirected blame to the carrier, in this case, Verizon, complicating the resolution process. Initial attempts at a Verizon store proved unfruitful, with conflicting responses regarding warranty coverage. Ultimately, the user opted to purchase a new Galaxy S24 Ultra from Verizon, wary of potential unfair treatment due to the trade-in of their defective device. Notably, these issues seem prevalent among Galaxy S24 Ultra units tied to U.S. carriers. Customers who obtained their phones directly from Samsung appear unaffected. However, the lack of accountability from Samsung and carriers presents a concerning situation for affected users. Moreover, the resolution offered, returning the faulty device and purchasing a new one, poses financial burdens, particularly with potential additional charges and loss of pre-order discounts. This approach fails to address the unfairness faced by customers grappling with defective devices. In light of these developments, we encourage affected individuals to thoroughly assess the implications of returning their devices and purchasing new ones. Ensure transparency regarding any associated charges and safeguard pre-order benefits. Additionally, recent reports indicate a washout display issue and discrepancies in color vibrancy settings on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. These compounded issues warrant a comprehensive examination of Samsung's quality control processes and customer support measures. Feel free to share your experiences and insights in the comments section below. Your feedback is invaluable in navigating these challenges and advocating for fair resolutions. The Galaxy S24 Ultra showcases an enhanced display compared to the S23 Ultra, thanks to an updated coating from Corning. Constructed with highly efficient materials, it provides superior color accuracy and a peak brightness of 2600 nits. Samsung, renowned for its top-tier phone screens, continues this trend with the S24 Ultra, even though the competitive displays from Chinese company Bo, specifically the X1 panel, are manufactured. Despite this, Samsung's M113 panel and the S24 Ultra remain superior to Bose X1 panel. However, a notable issue has surfaced with the S24 Ultra, as numerous users are observing faded or less vibrant colors on their screens. The core purpose of utilizing expensive OLED screens with precise color accuracy is to enhance the enjoyment of bright and appealing colors while watching or viewing content on the phone. Some users on the Samsung Community Forum expressed dissatisfaction due to the faded appearance and overall dullness of the S24 Ultra display. Comparisons are made with the older Galaxy S21 Ultra model, with some users stating that the screen quality resembles that of a 10-year-old LCD display. These concerns have prompted users to suggest hardware faults or issues during the manufacturing process. Some users advocate for the replacement of affected phones. Reports indicate that new phones are being dispatched to those experiencing this problem in certain regions. Additionally, adjusting the display settings to vibrant or manually increasing brightness doesn't seem to resolve the issue entirely. Red colors may become more vibrant with manual brightness adjustment, but it's not considered the optimal solution. Issues extend beyond the S24 Ultra, affecting users of the S24 Plus with similar problems in color reproduction. Several features are reported missing from the always-on display, prompting users to contact Samsung's customer service. The company advises users to report problems through the Samsung Members app and a support lab. Some users propose turning off adaptive color tone in the display settings, but opinions on its effectiveness vary. While a screen with high color accuracy is ideal for professional tasks, many users prefer brighter and more enjoyable colors. The primary concern is identified as a software bug in the S24 models. Even when switching to vibrant mode, the color mode remains unnatural. A fix is expected through a future software update, but despite two weeks since the phone's release, no resolution has been provided. Currently, the only workaround involves manually turning off adaptive brightness, 
setting the brightness to the highest level and activating vivid mode. Additional issues reported with the S24 series include darker videos recorded with the selfie camera at high frame rates or 4K at 60 frames per second, dark photos when using apps like Instagram and Snapchat, blurry and unclear video quality during video calls on apps like WhatsApp or Facebook, heating problems or charging issues with wireless chargers, frequent disconnection of wired headphones through the USB-C port, unexpected crashes of the One UI software, missing features for changing sounds when inserting or removing the S Pen, and wireless connection issues with Android Auto on the S24 Ultra. If you are currently facing any problems with your new Galaxy S24 Ultra, feel free to share your experiences in the comments section. The Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, both high-end smartphones, employ distinct hardware technologies. A significant contrast lies in their storage systems. The iPhone 15 Pro Max utilizes M storage, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra employs S4.0 storage for its latest premium model. This specific choice appears to give Samsung's phone an advantage, particularly in storage speed tests shared by Sakitec. According to the tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra outpaces the iPhone 15 Pro Max in data transfer speed, specifically in a test called Jazz Disk Bench. The Galaxy S24 Ultra reads data at a speed of 2547.46 megabytes per second, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max reads data at a speed of 1450.42 megabytes slash. This indicates that the Galaxy phone is approximately 75% faster in this test. While the difference in write speeds isn't as pronounced, the Galaxy S24 Ultra still holds a significant lead. In the random 4K transfer speed test, the Galaxy S24 Ultra exhibits superior read and write speeds compared to its competitor. Additionally, Samsung's US 4.0 storage boasts lower latency, enhancing the phone's ability to access data swiftly. These disparities suggest that the Galaxy S24 Ultra could provide a smoother user experience quicker app loading times, and faster file transfers. However, despite the Galaxy S24 Ultra's performance advantages, the iPhone 15 Pro Max still delivers a fast and efficient experience in real-world activities. The Galaxy S24 series, Samsung's first phones featuring artificial intelligence, showcases advanced capabilities, particularly in interpretation and translation, without the need for an internet connection. This places Samsung ahead of Apple in terms of artificial intelligence features. While Samsung's past innovations have received mixed reviews, the Galaxy S24 series has garnered praise for its A features. However, it remains to be seen whether Samsung can maintain its lead in the artificial intelligence market, as Apple, known for innovative technology, may introduce groundbreaking technologies in the future. The Galaxy S24 series has gained popularity, setting new pre-order records in places like India and Korea. It's expected to achieve significant sales, with estimates close to 30 to 36 million units by the end of the year. Notably, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has attracted over 60% of pre-orders from one carrier. Samsung's challenge lies in surpassing its previous records, especially if it plans to charge extra for AI features in future phones. In the smartphone market, Apple surpassed Samsung in the fourth quarter of 2023, becoming the leading vendor in terms of market share and total smartphone shipments for the entire year. Apple's growth and market performance, especially in the fourth quarter, outpaced Samsung, which experienced a decline in market share. As we enter 2024, market dynamics indicate Apple's dominance, and the Galaxy S24 series is being promoted with enticing offers. The battle for market supremacy continues, and only time will tell if Samsung can reclaim its position as the leading smartphone brand. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share your thoughts on this in the comments section below.